guys, it's Will with JW Gaming, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, you, know, you guys have seen me do some unboxing videos before in the past for uh, some various video games, um, but this time I'm actually going to do a un couple unbox, well, one unboxing video that will cover uh, two of these uh, 2013 deck builder kits from Magic the Gathering. Um, I just got these in the mail today. I uh, got them. They're from Amazon, so I'm um, probably going to do one now, and maybe I'll do another one um, either the same time, another video or so, but anyway, uh, by the way, what's up with Spongebob? Yeah, got the Spongebob thing going on. Alright, so you can see here we got the box, we got the Magic itself logo right there. Um, it comes sealed, so it's got this shiny plasticky crap on it. Um, I have, I do have a few other of these that I've already opened. Uh, once we actually get into that box, we'll actually see the um, the uh, artwork that's on the box itself. It's Nicol Bolas. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with Magic, um, if you haven't played Magic or you're just watching this just to see, you know, what kind of cool stuff comes out of a box, um, you know. Hey, you really should give it a try. Magic's not expensive. It is a very inexpensive little hobby unless you buy a large selection of cards offline for a high dollar amount. So there we got the cellophane off of it. You can still see the Magic logo stuff. I'm going to slide the box out. Um, like I said, it's a little sleeve. And I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. Um, there, you got the sleeve. Okay. Anyway, uh, here we got Nicol Bolas, the Magic logo. Uh, another picture of Nicol Bolas. Pretty much the same thing, just a further back image. Um, got one of the Planeswalkers. Not sure which one that is. Um, Magic Gathering logo on the side. And the same thing on the other side. Alright, so, let's go ahead and get into this. We'll go ahead and open it up. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. This piece, it's trash. You don't really need that. Um, this right here is one of the Magic the Gathering um, uh, little like information pamphlets that they send you. Don't need that either. Uh, another one kind of kind of gives you some information on you know possible deck ideas that you could have. So don't need that either. All right. So let's see what we got here. First thing you notice, we got a few booster packs. We got one, two, and three. Four, actually, I need to learn to count. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, we're gonna be opening those last, actually. Um, I'm gonna set those up there, off to the side. All right, now back over here. Um, you do get a basic mana pack. Um, each of these box sets do come with 100 mana. This is just some of the mana. Other, the other section of the mana is actually attached to one of these, because this one right here. Um, we're going to open it up. has Evolving Wilds, so it's not bad. Evolving Wilds is a great card if you're trying to like thin the deck to pull some mana. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm doing this one-handed, so I have to work with the decks. Alright, let's get this trash out of here. I don't really need all this. Alright, so we got some Evolving Wilds, so it's not too bad. Let me get to see some of the actual cards. Uh, Defy Death, Seraph of Dawn, Scroll of something or other. So let's just see what we got. And the original way that these are actually designed, as you can see, there's another Evolving Wilds. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, I just found this out recently after opening a bunch of previous um, Builder Toolkits, is that from Evolving Wilds, two Evolving Wilds, so all of these right here are cards that either complement each other or work together uh, in some way. So this is supposed to be a uh, starting point for you to kind of have a general idea of where to, where to start to build a deck. Um, me personally, I don't really, you know, I do like monocolored decks, um, but I do, I like black monocolored decks, so we're not going to be doing that. So then we got another one. Another set, it goes Evolving Wilds. And this time it's got some black and red. And 
you see there, it's got multicolors. So that's that. And then it goes to another Evolving Wilds. So all of this complements or works together in some way. Like I said, we don't need that. So we're just going to set that over here. And then again, more of it. This is a white and green set. And then this set right here is a blue set with some artifacts in it. So not too bad. We're off to a pretty good start. Got a couple little decent cards I might throw into one of my custom decks. Um, then we got right here, we got another one. Uh, that's usually the card I always get when I get these. I get the Ghoul Caller's Bell. Each player puts the top card of his or her library into the graveyard. Um, you know, whatever. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And we're going to take a look and see what we got going on in this one. Now, a lot of times when you buy multiple builder toolkits, you do get a lot of the same cards. But you'd also get a good majority of other stuff too. Like there's a lot of stuff I've gotten that I haven't had before and whatnot. So just gonna scroll through these real quick. Just kinda go down, Seraph Dawn. Oops, don't want you flipped over. Flip you back over. There we go. So we got these safe passage, some pacifisms. There you go. Cloud shift. Not bad. Alright, now we're on to the blue. Which, you know, they give you a good chunk. Um, then we got some black right here. Liliana Shade, an awesome card. Uh, a lot of people that I've played, well, I've played mostly the uh, actual Xbox game. I've just started actually playing the uh, real game recently. And um, a lot of times, a lot of people seem to underestimate this card. Um, it is a great card for black decks. It's Liliana Shade. It is a 4 mana. And it's a 1-1. One, one. People underestimate it because it's a 1-1, one, one, because they don't read the ability. Liliana Shade gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Meaning that if you have a good chunk of mana, you could actually attack with this. Okay? And then wait for their blockers. You know, tap all your mana. Give her the plus 1, plus 1 for each individual mana that you tapped. And if you're running some kind of mixed deck, you could actually give her Trample too. So, that's actually not a bad card at all. Um, then we got some red um, nonsense here. I don't really play a lot of red because, you know, the cards look cool, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of red. And then, out of all that, they only give me three greens um, right now. Uh, the other greens will actually be in there. So, so far we're not doing too bad. We got a good amount of cards. Uh, in these builder toolkits, you are going to get your best cards or your rarest cards um, in the booster packs and I buy the, I buy these builder toolkits not just because of the booster packs but I buy them mostly just for the card um, collectability I like collecting the cards so we're gonna move up here SpongeBob, yay! alright so we got here see Arbor Elf um, that's usually what I see every time I get one of these so we'll open this one up too I'm gonna grab that, throw that over there that. Alright, so we start out with Arbor Elf, and we go through here, got a couple good things, Polished Vipers and Ranger's Path, Ranger's Path's not bad, um, Crusader of Odric, um, O-Ring, amazing, amazing card, I love it. Now there is another one called Fiend Hunter, but Fiend Hunter is a actual creature, which they can actually kill it a lot easier, a lot of decks I've seen so far, don't they don't run a lot of stuff to actually destroy enchantments, so O-Ring's actually a better bet. Um, and if you don't want to know what O-Ring does, there you go. Enters the battlefield, you can exile another non non target, another target non-land permanent. Um, and you pretty much maintain control of it until O-Ring leaves the battlefield. So I'm gonna get some more black. And then this is where you're gonna get the rest of your land. Like all of this, all of this right here is land. So you see, all of that is land. Like I said, you do get a total of 100 land per box. Um, and then I believe it's like 120 um, other c between like common and uncommons that you can get. Like I think he's an uncommon. Right there, it's kind of hard to see. He's an awesome card too for black decks. Very, very good card. So, that's that so far. Now, for the pride and joy of the actual 
deck builders toolkit the four individual booster packs the booster packs themselves are not that bad they're actually um, sometimes you get some good stuff sometimes you don't uh, we're gonna start with the black one and work our way to the white one so let's just yeah like I said I'm doing this one-handed so I have to use my teeth and use my wits to open these boxes and bags and stuff so let's start out with what we get here try to lay them out so you guys can actually see and a lot of, this is where you'll get the foil if you do get a foil and all that um, so so far this isn't really this looks kinda new to me I don't have one of those yet let's see target creature attacks this turn if able target creature blocks this turn if able okay that's not bad um, so we got a harbor serpent that's not bad he's a 5-5 five, five, and he has island walk island walk is pretty cool um, if you don't know what island walk does there's island walk, swamp walk, mountain walk, forest walk, or whatever the hell it's called. And what that does is if your opponent controls a island, like you'll see right here, this creature is unblockable as long as the defending player controls an island. So, if you play this against me and I have an island on my field, on the actual field, whether it's tapped or not, he is unblockable. There's nothing I can do to him. Um, unless I actually use a, like, destroy a creature, sorcery, or instant, or something like that. So... That's not bad. So we're off to a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and clean this mess up here. Go ahead and set them over there. And you also get one of these in it too. It talks about Return to Ravnica. And, you know, of course, this is also old. And you do get a little card back here that tells you the black is common, silver is uncommon, gold is rare, and the orange is a mythic rare. Alright. All that trash. Alright, so we got the second one open, and um, just in case I forgot, this is the, this is this one. It's the red booster. So, let's just let you guys know which one it is. Um, the first card I see is this one. This is, this is, um, I call them multi-face cards. That's what I call them. Because there's no back to this card. Um, you can see right here that this one is a uh, Throblin... Throbbing Militia, I assume is how you say that. It's a human soldier creature. It has trample and it's 5-4. Now, if you flip it over, it is a sentry that is a 2-2. So, it says right here, whenever another creature you control dies, you may transform him. So, you haven't played. If your creature dies, you flip him over. That's how that works. So, that's that. Now, the rest of that that came in there, a voiceless spirit, gold caller's chant, gold caller's bell, fucking crap. I hate seeing those. Um, ooh. Shimmering Grotto. It's a land. Moon Mist is two mana. It's an instant. Transform all humans. Prevent all combat damage. Not bad. Ghost Quarters. Another land. Spectral Rider. Tribute to Hunger. It's another instant card. Evil Twin. It's a zero zero. Oh, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it gains. Uh, blue and black mana. Okay, blue and black, okay. And you can destroy the tar target creature with the same name as this creature. So, okay, I see how that kind of, how that would work. So, that's that one. So far, no foils. Nothing crazy yet. And we're going to go ahead and open up the white. So we can get this one going. That one opened a lot easier. First card I see, Battle Him. We got Battle Him right there, not bad. Haven Gull Scab, not bad. Angelic Wall, Crypt Creeper, Striker, Okay, Voice of Provinces. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to read these through the camera lens, guys, so just bear with me. Oh boy. Lunchy Munchy. Chant Creature, okay. Pillar of Flame. Unhollowed Pact, Gold Knight Redeemer. Gold Knight Redeemer is awesome. You gain two health for every creature that you control. Angelic Armaments, Haven Gold Vampire, Stolen Goods. Uh, Exhaust cards from Top Air's Heaven Library. Okay, you get a you got a human creature token, and another fucking island. So again, junk, basically, um, as far as I'm concerned. 
I'm looking at it as a collecting standpoint. I'm looking at it as a collecting standpoint. I'm, and um, I'm trying to actually collect the cards. So let's go ahead and open up this one, Dark Ascension. And let's see, we got another one of those crazy flip cards. So you see on this side, it is a Loyal Cathar. And then if I see what it says on the bottom here. Loyal Cathar dies, you can reform, return to the battlefield under, transformed under your control at the beginning of the next end step, so it flips and becomes um, an unhallowed Cathar. So that's not too bad. Then we got, let's see, a couple Silver Claw, Hot Scour, Evolving Winds, we got enough of those already. Curse of, what does that say, Exhaustion, okay. And then I've got the Haven Gull Rune Binder, another fucking creature token, and then one of these. So, in this for in these in this box, I got nothing in my full in my actual booster packs. Um, so, um, that's it for this first one, guys. That's awesome. Click that little thumbs up button for magic. Yeah, magic. And um, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing part two, which will be opening up this box. This is a complete another box. So, see you guys next. We jack them up